Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to RainyDayGuitar.com. Today I'm going to teach you a beautiful song as Sisters in Zion. This is the intermediate version. I just posted the advanced version, but this is for those of you that find it a little bit too hard. So basically this song has the girls singing and then the guys singing and then they come together, but there's two parts for the girls. Um, the, the girls are singing as Sisters in Zion. This is a song about teenagers who are trying to make good choices and um, it's usually sung by teenagers, and they're they're trying to listen to that, that the whisperings in, in the, of the Holy Spirit inside them, and it's a really good song. And then the guys they sing Army of Helaman. Helaman was a warrior who led uh, 2,000 young young teenage boys into battle, and they were trying to listen to the Lord, and they made good choices, and they all survived. That's the story. Okay, so then they kind of come together. So the sisters are singing about doing service and growing up righteous, and the boys are singing about fighting, you know, the evil and, and winning because they're listening to God, which is, which is applicable today because the youth are always trying to make good choices, we're hoping, and that they're trying not to listen to the peer pressures and the things that the world's telling them that's good to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start... Cool rolling capo, huh? We're gonna start with it's rolled right off. Okay, there we go. We're gonna st it, it, it starts on the third fret with capo on the third fret, but I can't reach those notes. So I'm gonna play you a little bit of it in the regular key, just without a capo on them, and then I'll show you how it kind of goes through, and then we'll put it on with them, and we'll do it the real way. Okay, but for right now, for my voice. Okay, but let me show you that pick. So what I'm doing on a G, I'm going bass three two three one two, bass three two three one two, bass three two three one two. Then E minor, it's just six as your bass. Bass three two three one two, and then a C bass is five. G is six. I forgot to tell you that. And then a C is five. Five three two three one two, and then a D. Four is your bass. Four three two three one two. So you're gonna do that twice. This is my own version. They're trans I'm transposing this from the piano that I'm hearing um, to guitar. And the piano is doing one kind of plunk little chords while the girls are kind of singing. So I'm going to do one strum to make it. You, you can jazz it up if you want to, but this is kind of a nice way to start, and then we'll build a little bit later. As sisters in Zion. And what I did there was a, this is a G, G major 7. Just pull my ring finger back. Try to keep everybody on, fi on uh, 2 and 3 up here, but get your ring finger behind that fret and that will give you the G major 7. If you can't do that, you can re-grip. You can put 6, 5, and 1. So the same same chords as a, same notes as a, a G up here, but just move your put your pointer on the second fret. A sisters in Zion. Either way works. Then a C. We'll all work together. Back to G. C major 7 is a C without the pointer finger. Blessings of God. But watch this. From a G, you can go up, all work together. Just take these top two, drop them down. Let go of your ring. The blessings of, go back to G. God on our A minor seventh, which is an A minor without the ring. Labors will, and this is a D suspended fourth. It's a D with a pinky on the first string underneath the ring. C just gonna hold that. If you don't know these chords, I'm assuming you do because this is an intermediate level song, it's not beginning. It's got some bar chords in there. Um, if you don't know them, but you're pushing yourself anyway, go to rainydayguitar.com. Well, actually, this is you can print this sheet off on the spiritual tab in rainydayguitar.com. And if you don't know the chords, you can go to the beginning tab. And about the, I don't know, third or fourth one down, it has a list of chords. Then those are beginning chords. And then at the very bottom, it has some intermediate chords, which has some of the bar chords that we're going to get to later. Okay, so if you don't know the chords, that's where you can find them. Okay, so let's see where we're as sisters inside all work together the blessings of God on our labors will put your pinky in seek go back to G will build up his slide your ring finger back kingdom that's G major seventh C with earnest in C minor here's our first non-beginning chord okay Denver so what that is this is on the, the paper that you can print off at rainydayguitar.com but if you don't want to do that here it is you can bar all five you can bar six but I don't care about six in this one. Um, you're you're gonna bar the first five strings in the third fret, tall man on the second string, fourth fret, 
and ring and pinky on the on the fifth fret. So it looks like an A minor, but it's way up here, okay? Then with the bar on. So well, that's a C minor, okay? We'll build up his kingdom with artist and tamer. There we go. Well, back to G. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not a singer. Comfort the weary and C. Strengthen. Then a quick D. La. Now we're going to go back to G and we'll go back to our intro. Twice. Then you're gonna, I would probably go I'm probably gonna do a bass three twins, three twins, three twins is one and two in my little lexicon here. It's my little nickname for plucking one and two at the same time. Then a G major seventh. Now switch and make your bass note four. So you could actually technically let go. And then a C, five is your bass note. Back to G, six is your bass note. Terse. And then a C, five. Of. Back to G, six. Hour. Now an A minor seventh, which is an A minor without the ring. Five is your bass note. Heavenly. And then a D, four is your bass note. Father who. Back to G. <coughs> Sorry. Love. Six is your bass note there. Pull it back to a G major seventh. Grab four. Offset. And then a C. We. C sharp minor. A five is your bass note. And actually go into the middle here because it's prettier. Instead of grabbing that high note. Love. Well, you can hit it if you want to. And the inner in the advanced in the advanced version I don't because we're doing something else. But that's okay. Okay, so and we. G, M, and we stay on G twice, so do a six and then a four. M, now four. Yes, we, and then a D, no, D seven. Love. Now we're gonna go G, M, and then a C, and then a D, and a C, and hold. Base three twins, hold, okay? Now you're gonna slide your capo up two frets, okay? And do that same thing, you're gonna go a G, and then a C, and now a D, and hold. So I went bass, three twins, three twins, three, one, two, and four. And just kind of hold. And then both of the verses are going to come in. The girls are singing the top part and the, the lower little descant thing or whatever. As sisters in Zion, we're together. It's getting too high for me. The blessings of God on, or the blessings of I don't know. If you, could, if you want, you can go. Um, what I did there was a D sustained fourth, so I grabbed four. Yeah, that's the easiest. So I would go one, two, and four, pluck them all together, and then hit three, and then lift up your pinky and pluck one, two, and four. The blah, blah, bless, where are we? The blessings, blessings of God on our labors will both together so we're going to go back to our intro no what did I teach you I'm doing the I'm doing the advanced version which in case you haven't watched it is really pretty that's the advanced but anyway that's a little too hard so what what I'm gonna have you do bass three two three one two oh yeah that's what I have to do so strengthen the wearing Comfort the weary and strengthen the weak. No. Repeat the intro. No. So G, E minor, C, and a D. Do it twice. E minor, then a C, and a D. Now go back to G, and they're going to sing as sisters in Zion. Keep doing that again. interlude with the A. So you're going to go a G and an A. You're going to go bass three twins, three twins, three. Go to A and go bass three twins and hold it. So that was five three twins. Hold it. Go back to G. Bass three twins, three twins, three, five three twins. Now do an A sharp 
which is like an A, but without your pointer, and slide up one fret and lay your bar on the everything except six because you don't need it because we're going to focus on five. Five, three, twins, three, twins, three, then a C, bass, three, hold. Do it again. Five, three, twins, three, twins, three, five, three, twins. Okay, and then you stay on the D, or sorry, sorry, stay on the C. La, 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 la. We're getting ready for the guys. to a G5 right there. So let me show you that little interlude, okay? At the very end, you should... We want to do a G5, which is a G with our ring finger up on the second string and our pinky underneath. So we lose the third. That's a really pretty sound right there, but sometimes we like that hollow sound. And we do right here because we're bringing in the guys and it sounds so cool. Okay, so what we want to do here, let me show you that little interlude. Then the A, G, and the A, a sharp and a C. Do it again. And a C. Stay on C. C and D. So that last little pick, if I do it right, is six. I'm on the G5. I go six, four, three, four, two, three, and then I grab one, two, and six. Actually, you can pluck one, two, three, and six. So let me show you how that sounds. I won't do the whole thing. To breathe. Well, nobody's singing. Cool, huh? And then you're going to do one strum. We have been. Now you have to let go here because you can't slide back because your ring finger is going to kill it. That doesn't work. So you're going to actually re-grip re and do that G major seventh. So their guys are going to sing, and you're doing a G5. We have been born, and then a C as Nephi of old, too. And this, again, this is where it helps to be looking at the chords, because I'm just kind of going like this, and I'm hitting the chords that are written, and it really helps to stay with it. Okay. We have been born as Nephi of old, to godly, that's an E minor. Now a B minor. There's another not beginning chord. Parents who love the Lord. Didn't put that in there. I need to put a B. That's a D with a pinky. I'm going to go once, and then I'm going to lift them up and do once more. Lord. E minor. Now I'm going to change my pick a little bit. Instead of just one strum, I'm going to go bass three twins and just kind of hold it. We have been taught and we Switch. I'm going to bring it in a little bit fuller because I'm about to do something and I don't want to, it needs to have a more gradual transition. So on the C, when I say Lord, ka, I'm going to go bass three, twins three, switch to D and go, it's basically a twins three, but I'm going to grab my, I'm going to grab twins and four and then hit a three, bass three, twins three, twins three, but on that last one hit, hit four, one, two, and four, three, and now I'm going to go, Oh, this is intermediate. We're not going to do the walk-up. Never mind. So at this point, I would just go bass three, twins, three, twins, three. Lord commands. And then we're going to go on the C. We're going to go back to our bass three, twins, three, twins, three. We are as the army of healing men. We have been. Now lift up your ring, and that gives you an A minor seven. Taught in our. Now we're going to do D with the pinky. This is D suspended fourth. We're going to go four and one. One, two, three, one, two, three, lift your pinky, do it again. Four and one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're going to hit four twice. The, the first time you start with them on, and take off your pinky and, and hit them again. So four and one, two, three, one, two, three, lift your pinky. Four and one, two, three, one, two, three. So here's how that sounds. We have, we have been taught in our youth. And we, then go back to the C. to the G. I'm going to go bass three twins, three twins, three the A. And hold. We're doing that same thing again because another transition is coming. Go to the A sharp and the C. Now grab your thumb. Slide up one fret. So what I did there is I slid up. So I went to the C. Now 
I didn't know so what I do. Yeah, so I went to the A sharp and the C. Now I reach with my thumb, pull them up one fret, isn't that cool? Get one of these. Amazon, 20 bucks worth it, a rolling capo. Okay, then you go to a D, and I'm gonna put my pinky on, and I'm gonna go four and one, two, three, one, two, three, lift my pinky, and grab everybody. Okay, so let me back up and show you kind of how that sounds with the transition, okay? go to a G. As sisters and sons, both the men, we are daughters, we, we have been taught. All three parts are coming in, it's so cool. Okay, so then you're going to go, um, we have been born as the fly of old. and I'm trying to jump between all the verses. Um, I can't do it. No, I was going to try to do a little bit of each of the verses no, with my voice. Not going to work. Okay. As sisters in Zion, we'll all work together. The... It does help to follow, though, because the chords are slightly different when we play them all. So I really do stick my eyes to that. So let me try it again as I was up to the top to look at the words. Okay. It helps to follow the chords because they're a little bit different to make sure that they all match with all three parts that are being sung. So stick to the what it says. It says then play both men and women and you follow these chords. As sisters in Zion will all work together the blessings of God on our labors will seek will build up the kingdom of God. Now G5 right here. E minor. comes together and we are us. start on the with the capo on the third fret so I am like ready to go how about that all right so I'm gonna put it on with them if I slip into the advanced par portion just ignore it I'll try to stick to the intermediate but the advanced is so much more fun so as soon as you can do it jump up there so I've got my volume up hold on you can't hear it back up all right here we go Thank you. 
enjoyed that song learn it and then go hit the advanced version because it's got some really fun stuff in it beautiful beautiful song um, teach it to your teenagers make them try to follow that little spirit inside them that tells them how to be good all right for more fun songs like that go to rainydayguitar.com where you can print off the words too all right thanks